Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today is day nine and I know uh, some talk to you was day five and that was because honestly I didn't feel like there was a much big difference things to say like I I felt for the most part like things were pretty much similar um, I will admit that when I started this challenge I also wanted to commit to the gym I have now not been able to do that yet but I do plan on starting tomorrow and trying to fill out the last 11 days of my challenge so I will get the questions going um, and I might as well, before we get started into the questions, just note that obviously you guys see me in a different background and I just kind of threw this together. I was at the store one day and I just kind of like picked out a few things. But yeah, I hope you guys like my background. I'm sure it'll change a little bit as I try to like try new things and try different things. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let's get into these questions. The... So, First one, that's that's a to-do list. That's definitely not my questions. So, how, sorry, my eyes itchy. How do I feel emotionally? Emotionally, I feel very, I don't know. Like, actually, I want to say I feel very stable, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know, it's weird to explain my how I feel emotionally. I feel... Um, I don't feel depressed or anything like that, but I don't feel like super high today anyways. Lately, the past four days, I've been feeling pretty good though and pretty happy. Mentally, I feel a little more self-aware, if that's a good word. So, like... Side note, sorry if you guys hear anything in the background because Ari is in the bath right now. But, anyways, mentally I feel uh, like self-aware and and confident, I guess. Like I, I feel like since I am learning things and figuring things out, I have been, and like kind of trying to educate myself in kind of all different ways that I'm used to educating myself, I feel more like, yeah, confident, I guess would be a good word, but not like confident physically because I have like dits all over my face and I don't work out and I eat like crap, but like, but, but mentally I feel confident in myself. Like I have some, I'm get, starting to get some knowledge in my, under my belt and in my head. Spiritually, I actually feel very, very, very good. I've been praying every single day, and I usually don't do that. It's usually like once a week. Spiritually, yeah, I was saying, I feel really good. Like, I, I feel... I don't know how to explain it. I just feel in tune, more in tune. I'm not, and it's it's like a more in tune with my... Um, spiritual side because like because of the praying I think and like my my belief has been sparked especially last night I watched a very emotional video that I had made and I actually wasn't doing YouTube at the time I just had it on my heart to record and I think that was very um, inspirational or I don't know if inspirational is the word but it was just crazy to hear me say that and I think that was meant to go on my YouTube channel and I don't think I'm going to put it on right away and it may be some time until you guys can see that but when I see that that really sparked again my spirituality and made me realize like how lucky I am and how what I did feel then because sometimes as time passes like you kind of forget the intensity of that moment and I felt I was in that moment and then right after I clicked play so even like watching that re-sparked my spirituality so I don't necessarily think it's me the praying every day I think it was the video that the video that really sparked my spirituality like even deeper so any obstacles today I feel I had to face? 
So today an obstacle I felt I had to face not really. I had a slack day. I had a slack weekend actually. Um, I didn't set my alarm super early, but Ari gets up no later than 7 o'clock every morning. So even if it's not 5 a.m., I'm still getting up at 7, which I still think is a decent time to get up every morning. There's some people who sleep until 9 or 10 or 11. So, yeah, I mean, I had a great day. We just got back from my mom's. I was going to vlog the weekend, but my mom is a very particular person. She wouldn't like to be shown on camera looking like how I look. Like, she would want to be presentable. It's okay, it's okay mom, it's okay. I really don't feel like there was much that stood out to me today. I did absorb a lot of information because I did drive three hours by myself, like I had Ari, but she slept for a lot of it and then she watched it as her own little thing. So I had time to uh, really like absorb some things and I watch or listen to a few different podcasts, again from the Influencer Podcast and it was ones that I found very, very interesting and enlightening and made me really think about what I want to do and where I want to go. One thing that stands out to me in general is just how much information I can absorb and like how I think I know things or thought I know things or thought like, let's say social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all those things were platforms where people just kind of got lucky and that's why they have a following or they're really pretty or they are really smart or have schooling and like that's just not the case so it was really cool to see that and I really want to dive in deeper and like do my own research even like online for stuff like that because I really want to figure out how how to make myself grow and um, gain a following overall energy is pretty good I'm now feeling like I probably feel a good 10% sick like I don't feel sick anymore it's kind of lingering but not really like my body got over it a lot quicker than I thought it would so that I'm very very grateful for so I'm like really excited for tomorrow I'm really excited to get thing the ball rolling I'm excited for my background I'm excited for what's to come on my channel so hey subscribe the hardest part of my day driving driving had to be the hardest part of my I don't know if this chair is going to be good because I kind of want to swirl I have to be still so far so good like I thought by now I'm in I'm on day nine and I thought by now I would be really missing TV really like not really missing social media because I wasn't much of a social media goer and I do have YouTube still but more so like not knowing what to do with my time and I almost feel like since I've stopped watching TV and listening to music and going on social media I feel like I don't have enough hours in my day to get things done like I get things I'm getting way more things done <sighs> sorry my camera <sighs> had memory issues so um, yeah, like I said, I just feel like now that I have not, don't have those distractions, I feel like I'm getting a lot more done, but I feel like I could get even more done. And I'm like, oh, I, I need 24 hours to do things, and then I need like an extra 8 hours to sleep. Like, I feel like I need more hours in the day, which is like, which is crazy because in, I used to not get anything done and like chill. So like, what was I doing with my time when I was watching you know, like Housewives in Jersey Shore, like I was putting things aside. So I don't know, it, it's weird, but it, it's refreshing and it's cool to like, to really be thinking about my dreams constantly and where I'm, where I'm headed in life and not really having much distractions other than schoolwork. I can see this heading to me actually cutting out uh, TV for the most part and which I didn't really watch but including Netflix and music for the long run and just until I get where I want to go I feel like that might be a thing for me and uh, as far as social media goes I think I'm gonna get back Instagram and try to incorporate my following there with YouTube and have those followers come here and then what I build in YouTube go to Instagram and interchange and then maybe add on another social media from there but like if I get Instagram back it will be for business purposes if you guys understand what I mean something new that I've learned that I want to share so I figured since I am trying I'm trying to be 
to develop an audience and a following. So I find it very interesting and awesome when some of my favorite YouTubers share their expertise or experience. So as I as I find things, my in my past I used to kind of want to like hoard them, like oh I'm this is such a good idea or not a good idea, but like this is such good knowledge and I want to keep it to myself so only I succeed. But that's such a selfish mentality. So anyways, I wanted to let you guys know that I listened to the Influencer Podcast. I don't remember what episodes I listened to. I think six and eight. But they were just saying, which I kind of, which you kind of know, but when someone, it was an agent, I believe, and he was saying how he just really believes that you have to be authentic and kind of like back up what you say and just be yeah just be you also in being authentic you also have to what was the other thing he was saying like oh like find what makes you stand out and like what or, the, or like what you stand for or what your consistency is so like if you're a makeup guru and you only do cruelty free makeup like make that your thing and like kind of find your thing and go with it i found that really cool and interesting and and just listening to people and their advice who actually aren't just influencers but they also teach influencers or take on influencers and give them you know make them prosper is really cool so again I'm, I'm i'm gonna try to find different podcasts but for right now like i really like the content that i'm getting from this podcast so to vary from it like i want to absorb everything i can and then move on that's just how i am i don't like reading two books at one time i don't like watching two shows at one time i like watching it all and then moving on that's just my personality so i'm gonna listen to them for a little bit longer until i feel like i've gotten all i need from that podcast but I'm sure you guys will hear me talk about it and it will be linked down below there'll be a link to their podcast through spotify i'm pretty sure they're on itunes too i just couldn't find them on itunes just because when you type in the influencer podcast there's so many which is awesome it's something to be really happy about but there's so many and i just couldn't find them through youtube or through itunes i hope i didn't just talk everyone's head off I'm trying to make this quick and short but i'm kind of rambling and i love my new background this this is going really good and i'm really proud of myself for being consistent because usually i don't follow through with things but this time i am and so yeah if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already follow me and my beautiful family on our journey and Oh yeah, comment down below if you want to see anything or if you just want to talk or if you want to know my social media links, which I'm not on right now, but I will be on, or my Instagram or any of that stuff. I'm going to make it public soon and do some revamping to it, but yeah, or if you want to have any ideas for me or if you're a other YouTuber and you want to do some collabs, all that stuff, just let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, day 10, probably day 12 of my daily journals. <laughs> I don't even know how to film, film anymore, like, oh my gosh. Okay guys, bye!